Hello and welcome to another episode of our hardcore series. We've made a lot of progress and done a lot of changes and in today's episode we're gonna carry on with optimizations ensuring that we do reach that 100 million goal. Are we lucky? Do we have a parking spot? Yes, perfect. So here we need the uh, cleaning station. Well, actually, you know what? Let's get the storage shelves as well and the stack of shop. Uh, no, three storage shelves and one cleaning station right now. And then we can fill the rest of the space in the trunk with more storage shelves and shopping baskets because we're not that far away anyway. So we can uh, we can save the trips like that. So let's do two more storage shelves and then two stack of shopping baskets. Oh, true. I did not pay for my items. I'm sorry. All right. Now we can return to our um, beautiful location. And I think uh, so we just need the two checkout counters and another two shopping baskets. I think that's uh, that's what's left. And we have technically four more spaces in the trunk for extra storage shelves. If these are not enough, they might not be. And last but not least, before we move into the next day, we need to do the change to the um, to the logistic manager to change the um, amount of items that we asked for. Look at this. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Have you noticed this? There's a bike in the street. Can I ride it? No. I think this is new. Or maybe I didn't pay enough attention to the streets, but I'm pretty sure that's new. It's always nice to see when uh, when these little uh, little things make such a big difference to the game. You wouldn't expect it to be like that, but in reality, it is. It might just be a, a little bike or a tree or something that you don't really pay attention to, but overall, in the uh, in the big picture, it does make a, a nice uh, ambiance, right? Let's pick up the last three story shelves. We can do one here, one here, and the last one is here. Perfect. I think we got enough storage shelves for the for the beginning part of the store's um, journey through life. And now we need to go to Peterson, get the checkout counters, and get the other stacks of shopping baskets. So we got four in total. Ah, this is lovely. This is pretty pretty damn decent. Um, progress that we're making right now very excited uh, to see what this midtown store is gonna is gonna put us at if we can make uh, more than a million a day imagine that so we make 150 now maybe with two stores we can make 300 if midtown is powerful enough who knows maybe 500 and then we keep going for these um changes with midtown and we might just uh, get to that a million a day in profits or maybe more than that just thinking very big here very late game kind of scenario so let's get two checkout counters and two stacks of shopping baskets one two beautiful nope cutting in line sue me but i want it there first uh what else do we need let's have a look here yeah so definitely with these stack of shopping baskets we're gonna be in the green uh oh we need the security panels okay so one two three four so we've got two doors so every single one needs to be secured and i think uh that will be pretty much it for for all the work that we've done today i think this is it and then tomorrow we can place the order for the remaining things which will be security guard lockers uh security sign what else? Uh, maybe a few flower pots here and there to make the place look uh, nicer. And pretty much it, I think. Should be uh, should be good enough. Oh God, please don't kill me. Thank you. My fault entirely, but still, I do not wish for my vehicle to all of a sudden become at zero percent durability because of my uh, stupidity. All right, so parking this beautiful beast of a car that's been so heavily abused and it's somehow still working oh the joys so we got one checkout counter uh it can sit here i think that is good enough and the other one is gonna stay here shopping baskets cannot forget about those 
and one security panel at the entrance here and that's pretty much it right i think we've done enough for one day that we can go to bed now but like i said before we do that we need to change the amount of items we're ordering from these guys uh where is it hq purchasing agents uh, let's cancel this order so if midtown and murray hill are each taking 500 then we probably need to order like 1500 boxes of noise which is exactly what we're gonna do this puts us at 224,000, and unfortunately we don't have that much money yet so we need to wait for this night to go so yeah let's uh, wait for the next day we made 120,000. that that's good enough for me so now we can do the change because i don't think that we have the orders yeah because we cancelled it perfect so if we do 1200 that'd be okay yeah that's 188 so how much was 1500 224 okay so we got the money because it went 287 uh and these ones let's do 150 each that too much 232 239 246 yeah i'm good with that i am good with that so let's place the order and then in the logistics manager tab here we need to make the assignments in a correct way right so schmapple store gets five 500 of everything from paper to noise and the rest of the um, phones and stuff gets only 50 but midtown it's more powerful and first of all we need 2000 to cover the checkout counters uh, these are going to be 500 and these are going to be 150 each uh, so maybe we can do down to 80 so we leave some stock for the for the other store and i think now we're good to go we can go back to bed wait for the city workforce agency to come back to us there's the shipment and there's the messages that we've been expecting so we got a lot of things here we got security guards from our um headhunter and then we got the customer service and the cleaning uh, staff from the agency so the security guards are gonna go into schmapple store four of them to be more precise and then we're gonna assign a few of them to tbc as well that's the way it goes so four into schmapple store and four into tbc i don't think we need more for the small shops um, but it's gonna be a good idea to have them there let's go for customer service now these are all for tbc so i'm happy with that apparently we got a few for audio aura and WearTech because uh, I don't think those shops are 100% um, operating on 24-7 yet. So let's start with the eight security guards for Schmapple and TBC. So we can make that higher and then we can go for the uh, customer service agents. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's for uh, TBC. And then we need these two cleaning staff also for TBC. They already have a business assigned. Okay, right. So first off, like I said, this is going to be 24-7. Absolutely. And I'm hoping and praying that none of these guys are going to have any particular requests. So this one is no night shifts. There's a nice to have. No problem. Can sit here. Is this okay for you? Yes. Craig, do you have anything? No, just a full time is what we love to see kenny just full time which is again what we love to see levon you want full time and bronze health insurance well i can get you both of those so no problem goldie you just want full time perfect alberto you want full time which is amazing gwendolyn you want full time and joseph is the cleaning staff my bad uh, you can go up to here, right? Alberto, yeah, 49. So, Gwendolyn, uh, you need to be with... Uh, am I missing one? No, Sean. There you go. Gwendolyn and Sean go together. And then Vanessa and Jos uh, Joseph here can take care of the store like that. And of course, we have the security guards, but we don't have the lockers yet, so there's no place to assign them. Uh, then we're going to go to inventory and pricing and change this because it's... 
It's again Midtown, so they can afford it. So Rhythm by Trace are gonna sell for $3.99. Not actually, no, they're gonna sell for $4.15.99. Noise are gonna sell for two, uh, two fourteen. Zanaman is gonna be a thousand, uh, thousand ninety-nine, and Artifish Phone is gonna be uh, eight ten ninety-nine. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. Uh, what else? Let's check the purchasing agent here. So they they haven't delivered everything yet, right? Or is it already in the stores? It's not here for sure. It's not here either. Not here either. So what the hell is going on? Oh, they haven't they haven't delivered yet. That's that's what's going on. They haven't taken my money away. Okay, that's fine. Do we have enough money? This is 246. We have 248. Just about. Hopefully, in the next few minutes, it's gonna happen. Okay, good, shipment has arrived. Okay, very well. So, can we check the inventory now? So these guys don't have any rhythm headphones, no idea why. Schmapple store doesn't have any rhythm headphones. Is it something that I've done wrong here? Uh, no, I definitely have both of these, but hmm, very interesting. What about the other destinations? Has it not got everything it needs? So... Sorry, I'm just confused. I go to warehouse two here. Yeah, so um, could it be that we don't have enough storage, like physically? You know what? I'm just gonna go to Peterson first, grab a couple of those uh, big storage shelves, and by a couple I mean eight. Populate um, the warehouse, so we know for sure that um, space is not the uh, reason why we're relatively failing here. This is a bit crazy to me that. We had the money, they, they made the delivery, but it's not what we expected. So something is going on. Either our stores don't have space, but it's not gonna be all of them, or our warehouse doesn't have space. One of these things, uh, but we're gonna figure it out. Okay, grab, grab the hand truck, it's all the way here at the back. These large pallet shelves. One, two, three, four, go, 10,000. And again, we have to uh, sit and wait for this queue to move. It's funny how they all carry one box. There is nobody like me with a hand truck and multiple items. If you're gonna give me this uh, nonsense of people being in line every single time I walk into a store, at least give me some variety game, right? Give me a person that has a trolley with two items, other one with three items or four items or even one item. Maybe I don't want to carry it by hand. I will make it more interesting. Okay, now let's go to warehouse number two. It shouldn't be very far away from us. Yeah, it's just around the corner in 50 meters. Okay, grab a pallet shelf, go in. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, we're suffering from lack of storage here, but I don't know. I'm doing my due diligence, taking away any potential issues that might, uh, might cause what we're currently seeing so all right got a few more <coughs> great okay so now let's check the logistic manager again so my question is where did this go some of it came to tbc not all of it the common denominator here is that nobody seems to be having rhythm by tray headphones which is worrying me and at the same time it doesn't make much sense so these guys are getting 500 each right clearly they're empty and then 50 for the remaining uh, audio aura is not getting anything it's just getting 50 uh, noise headphones so let's make a take the calculator out so 500 plus 50 plus 100 plus another 500 it's 1150 that's it and we're asking for 1500 so in theory we are sending out to our shops less inventory than what we have on stock so we should be good honestly i have no idea what's going on because if there was a thing about inventory then i would have seen here that the um, products are on the shelves like if the stores didn't have enough capacity but that's not the case so i don't know what's uh, what's causing this uh, we're just gonna take a take a little bit of a walk here to our schmapple store uh, do we have the delivery done to us i think so because it's 10 o'clock should be should be waiting for us yep here it is and unfortunately it seems that uh, everyone is taking our parking spot here but it's okay just gonna park it right here i don't care let's take out the hand truck and get to work
So we need to do a bit of a, an adjustment here. So I've, um, I've got some changes in the layout, so um, I think it just makes uh, a lot more sense if we rearrange it, everything here accordingly. So in Schmapple store now, uh, it seems that we have a smartwatch somewhere that is bottlenecking it. Yeah, this one should be a phone, sir. Okay, and then we have another smartwatch I missed somewhere. Hmm, there it is. Okay, so now we're up to 60, which is the bottleneck that we give ourselves by having just two checkout counters. So it's 60 out of 75, but it's something I can live with. And the rest of the things here look quite good. Perfect. So what else do we have in our um, beautiful boxes here? So we have a few more product display tables uh, and those will come pretty much in handy. But I think with the help of these ones, you might just be able to um, to get to that sweet, sweet spot and cover the smartwatches as well. So we got a few decorative items left. So the planter boxes, uh, as usual for me, if you watched uh, any of my previous playthroughs, I like to place these uh, planter boxes at the entrance. It's kind of giving a, um, a little bit of a corridor or a walkway, whatever you want to call it, just a separation between the entrance of the store and the rest of it I think it looks uh, quite nice and um, I don't know plants and stuff just uh, symbolize you know freshness nature and it's a nice thing to uh, to see in your store I always appreciate a good plant and this one can sit here in the middle it gives a bit more character already okay so what else do we have uh, we did the schedule for these guys and obviously we have items that are delivered to us. So let's open this thing. We need, uh, we need money. So this is open. Uh, we need to place a few deliveries. So with the TBC store, we need a couple more rows. And I think we needed 16. That was the calculation that we had because we need four, um, we need eight, sorry, rows in each side for the smartphones. So, um, and then we also need some planter boxes as well to make this store beautiful. So to each one here, one here, um, and then one of these. Why not? We don't have any speakers yet, so we could get two loud ones. Actually, let's get four and put them in the corners and be done with it. Uh, and I believe that's pretty much it. So we can place this order here, perfect. And we can do the same for the Peterson, still at TBC. Uh, this will also come Thursday. And what we need from this one is, like I said, 16 product display tables. 
and a few cameras as well. Let's do eight cameras, a security sign, and maybe two guard lockers. I think that's uh, enough. And now we can go over there, park the car, go to bed, and wait for this delivery to happen. Uh, actually, first, I just want to get some food. I haven't eaten in a while, so supermarket. Ah, how lovely. One just at the end of this street. And sadly, it's, uh, it's closed, opening one hour. Okay, not a problem, done. The magic of fast forwarding. So let's grab a shopping basket and get some uh, fresh food. Thank God I was first. Would have gone a bit crazy if I had to wait for all of those people. Now with a full hunger bar, let's head over to our uh, TBC store, go to bed and wait for the delivery. And with that, today's episode comes to an end. Thank you so much for watching and for all your support. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.